all here, Magnusites. <laughs> I'm going to try to answer this the best that I can. So, this is from one of my Magnusitas, my 10 percenters. I need to put that on the Magnusita t-shirt. Or I need to make a Magnusita t-shirt that says 10 percenter. That'll keep the cost down. But anyway, so, it says, hi, Tyrone. One of your 10 percenters here. My boyfriend broke his leg a month ago. He's been totally out of it. He just eats and sleeps. This is going to sound seriously shallow, shallow, but I started noticing that he's been putting on weight. His shirts are fitting tighter, as is his stomach is returning. <laughs> I know his leg is broken, but I wanted to know if he could start coming back to the gym with me. Like, nothing major with his legs. Like, could he work his upper body? Thanks, if you answer me. Okay, so... <laughs> You know a man would get hell for saying something like, my girl broke her leg, and now she's starting to put on weight. You know a man would get so much hell for asking that question. He'd be a pig, he doesn't really love her, he's shallow. Fuck you, you piece of shit. You should be glad that she's with your fucking ass. Be more sensitive. You know. <laughs> but I'm glad, see, Magnusita, I'm glad you had the ovaries. The ovaries. The ovarian fortitude to ask me that question. So, I want you to know that I understand that physical attraction is... Um, it's very crucial to relationships. It's what initially attracts you no matter what. And for a lot of people, it's also part of the equation of what keeps you there. Um, I know there's men out there who have very serious issue with uh, women that gain weight during their pregnancy. It bothers them, it turns them off. And you know, sometimes pregnancies actually destroy women's bodies. And it's, it's really unfortunate, it's a shame that that happens to some women. And I am sympathetic to that. But I've also been, um, I'm very, um, um, I'm an advocate for women that I see in the gym working out when they're pregnant. I've seen it a lot. And they're not in there doing snatches or deadlifts or anything crazy. They're just staying mobile and active and stuff like that. They're helping keep themselves at a normal, healthy pregnancy weight. And I understand that and I respect those women for that. So, I'm going to tell you something about men before I say what he can do. Men, um, when we feel when we're disabled, uh, we, and I've never been disabled before, but um, I've been close to it when I had that hernia injury. And you, you men start to, to, to uh, our strength, we view a lot of our strength in our physical strength and what we can do for mobile, if we can do things. And the fact that he's got a broken leg, he can't do much. So this, it's probably getting to him. It's probably getting to his psyche or his ego. So he's probably in a depressed state or slight depression. And he's probably eating. He's just eating and waiting to his leg to heal. But to answer your question, yeah, he could. He could come to the gym. He could, um, maybe he could get on the bike, those laid back bikes, and, and, uh, pedal with one leg. <laughs> but like this. With one leg, he could do that, baby. <laughs> um, he could, uh, <laughs> which he's not going to want to do because he'll make that leg probably a lot stronger and bigger and have a really big imbalance. But, uh, on, you know, uh, without jokes aside, he probably could uh, come in there on crutches and maybe post up against a wall and um, um, do some curls, some shoulder press stuff, light things. You know, uh, maybe he could, um, you know, he, he can sit, you know, with something that'll support his back and, you know, do shoulder press. Yeah, well, as a matter of fact, you know, I'm just trying to imagine if I, you know, if I uh, had a broke leg. Let me see here. Tyrone Maggie's coming to the gym with a broke leg. 
Yeah, the alley, no, no, they'd be like this. Right? Like this. Or oh, maybe, maybe I could walk in like this, you know. Uh, you know, like this or something. But anyway, the point is, he could sit down somewhere. He'll probably have to have his leg extended. And he could probably get some light stuff in. Light stuff. And I'm going to tell you this. Um, he could probably do a lot of different light workouts just at home. Just, you know, curls and, uh, you know, um, lateral raises. Maybe he could go bent over dumbbell. Um, he, he could do a few movements. But guess what? 70 to 80% of the reason why you look the way you do is not the gym, it is your diet. So he's probably eating a lot of feel good foods, isn't he? Probably eating hamburgers, fries, pizza, chips, pretzels, beer, more beer, and a shot of tequila. But um, that's probably what it is. I would talk to him about eating cleaner and express your concern. Um, but you're going to have to do it tactfully because she could blow up on you. You can flip the fuck up. The fuck's wrong with you, you crazy bitch? I'm fucking, I got a broken fucking leg and you're talking about me gaining weight. You better watch that, uh, how you reveal that to him. If you live together, maybe you could just cook him clean meals. Cook him clean meals and he'll be all right. I hope you're not trolling me. But cook him clean meals and he'll be all right. You take over feeding him, okay? If not, um, if you don't live together, maybe you could, you could do this. You could say, hey, listen, I want to help you out. I'm going to start cooking you meals every single day so you don't have to worry about none of that stuff. I want to make sure that my man is getting the best food so he can heal quickly. Shit like that. Like, I'm like, all right. I was going to call Domino's. You know what I'm saying? I was going to call him. I was going to say, look, set it up for a whole week of delivery, nigga. So you deliver at 6 p.m. every single day, and I get my large pizza. You know, so he don't get, get, get bigger. You can make sure that he has his prepped meals ready for him to go. So I think I've given you a few things to do. Uh, hopefully it helped, 10 percenter. All right, Magnesitas, and anyone else that wants to write me or send me a reaction video, pay attention to the instructions in the description box. Pay very good attention to the instructions in the description box. One million subscribers. Woo!